There we go. Uh, the whole team's all f***ed up like this. Done with day two. How are you feeling right now? Well, other than installing the car, uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Disappointing Brandon went out. We uh, we had nothing for him, uh, to be honest. Uh, made some changes that, honestly, I felt OK um, driving straighter, but we were slower. So I had to go back to old Colin McRae style, just keep centered in. and. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you can't keep teaching old dog new tricks or if I need to really go back to the drawing board and just Brandon's improving so much, it's, uh, it's tough to keep up. So, um, un unfortunate for him to go out. The whole team's off stuff. Like, that's the second rally we took in a mom. I'm like, look, he is going so fast that we are pushing with everything that we got. And if it comes to a taking a cut or hitting a tree on the outside, we're gonna take a cut every time. So, um, I don't think we actually pulled the rock out that, that he hit this time. I'm curious to see what the camera show, but. Definitely, uh, I'm not getting a Christmas card for Brandon uh, this year after uh, two DNFs. What does this mean for your championship? He might not be able to make the last round, which would put us both missing around this year. Um, so it's there's a chance. But we got to figure out how to get faster, because if I can't beat him on the stages, it don't matter anyway. I had the opportunity to push them out. They had a little, little went down the wrong junction and uh, Ryan Scott actually hopped out. Just wanted to stop and talk to you. Yeah, yeah and you were at the wrong junction. I didn't have the mic. <laughs> Starter doesn't work. Oh no, okay. Wait for this next car. And we see the push start it. Okay, put it in reverse. Okay, you in reverse? Yep. Okay. Drop it. Thank there you go. No, thankfully you came in uh, and saved us, so our starter did not work, and when we stuffed it, the car died and we could not get it restarted. So thankfully you ran up the street and uh, helped me push start the car. <laughs> I'm seeing a little bit of a stick in a mirror, and maybe a little bit of mud flap. It's not looking bad. It's dragging pretty hard. Is the back wheel turning? You may have bent a lateral link here. Take a look at that. Yeah. It's turning, you'll drive fine, you'll just probably have to change the lateral links out. Okay. What, uh, what happened there? Well, you remember I told you we were gonna go faster? Yeah. Well, we were killing it. And that last three, right before the end, just same tree, same damn turn got me at Headwaters and I, I went a little farther into it this time. Look at, hey, don't. There we go. <laughs> yeah, watch the mirror. So look at that. A little bit of angle there on that rear wheel. Maybe some strut. There's a little bit of extra movement on it as well. I feel so bad for Brandon. That's two rocks that's taken him out in back-to-back -back, uh, races. But no, it's great. I'm having an awesome time. Uh, it's amazing how much these roads got uh, tore up from 40 cars. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Things are going fine. Uh, one mistake in there, a late braking thing for a junction that meant going down the escape road backwards. Other than that, I think it's good. First four stage of the day, uh, we clobbered a big old rock, got a flat, lost four minutes or so. Uh, and we're just trying to plod, plod along, try to stay smooth, have fun, go fast. Uh, unfortunately, Seamus got caught out, so that got us a spot. He's fine, I think it's just a drive shaft or maybe an axle. We're hearing a little bit of underbody dragging on the ground. You know, it, it got a little little spicy out there, a couple of corners really had to hock her in there, but uh, yeah. you know, feeling good, feeling good. Plan of attack for tomorrow then? Uh, you know, flat out as always. I, uh, I always tell Lars I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy, drive conservatively, and I don't know what happens to that plan, but <laughs> you know. The fast stage which should have been our big advantage. We blew right past the, the side road okay. into the Delta. You know, I was pretty frustrated. Yeah. I don't think it was that good on the stage before this one, but this one I actually had fun and I'm ready to go tomorrow. It put me in a much better frame of mind. <laughs> the downforce seems to be working. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, the downforce is working maybe a little too good. We broke a half shaft and it's not the first time this season. That was brand new put in last night. Got to the next stage 11 minutes late, took a little hit, but Seamus went off earlier and Hooper's got three minutes you know, behind us earlier in the day. so. I don't know where we're sitting, but I'm not ha unhappy. Roberto, did you get the issues figured out going into that loop? <laughs> we did, yes. Okay. It, this loop was actually a lot of fun. Uh, turns out when you have power and the power doesn't cut out randomly, uh, it's a lot more fun to rally. Oh, that was a hurt. Uh, we started picking up dust maybe two thirds of the way through. Okay. Um, apparently, it's actually funny, the first half I was like, man, I don't know about these notes. And then we got in the dust and I was like, eh, they seem okay. Looks <laughs> like the competition's starting to spice up a little bit too with Roberto. What, uh, what's the plan of attack for tomorrow? Keep going. Uh, we had a couple rough ones for sure. 
Uh, it's a fun excuse, but we made a tire choice that I'm not stoked on on account of someone smashing a rock the size of this engine. What Sebadok hit, I, I think, that was a massive, I mean, I wouldn't even call it a boulder. I'd call it a, yeah, like Ethan said, a small moon. I had a lot of fun. I, we were laughing and giggling, ripping, ripping the handbrake, just doing all of that. It's, man, this rally is such a blast. I'm so glad that I'm doing it. <laughs> What can you tell me about day two? It's done. Day one, you mean? Oh, oh. day two. Day two. Day two. Day two. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is day two, yeah. <laughs> can you tell us about the ducks? I feel like we asked you about those at Snowdrift, but there's more of them now. Um, I had another one that I actually got out of 100 Acre Wood and it fell off. How did the day go for you? Oh, terrible. We're here. <laughs> we made it here. <laughs> Plan of attack for tomorrow is just bring it home? Hopefully. <laughs> the co driver says yes. Bring it home. <laughs> Listen to your co driver. Uh, I can't hear anything because this car is so deafeningly loud. Yeah. Day two of Ojibwe Forest Rally is in the books. As you can see, it's been quite a dramatic day. The big news though, Brandon Semenuk, the rally leader, the championship leader, has hit a rock uh, and had a mechanical DNF and he is out of contention for the overall rally win. What does this mean for the championship? I'm not really sure. It's gonna take quite a bit of math to understand. A lot of other things are heating up out here in two wheel drive, limited and open. We're gonna keep a close eye on those battles tomorrow. Still another 50, 60, I think 60 some miles to go of the rally. It's gonna be a very exciting day. Stay tuned, dirtfish.com and all of our social channels. And again, if you wanna to learn to drive, learn to rally, we have a rally school. Check that out, dirtfish.com.